Picture, if you will, a hot July afternoon when a train pulls into the station and out steps a six foot tall, 180 pound woman dressed all in black. In the summer of 1909, Carrie Nation was one of America's best known women, so she must have been instantly recognized by local residents. After a brief marriage to an alcoholic, Nation had made it a personal crusade to close the nation's saloons. Between 1900 and 1910, she was arrested some 30 times after leading her followers in the destruction of one bar after another, with cries of, Smash, ladies, smash! Price fighter John L. Sullivan was reported to have run and hid when Nation burst into his New York City saloon. Self-righteous and formidable, Nation mocked her opponents as rum-soaked, whiskey-swilled, Saturn-faced rummies. And now it was New Ulm's turn to face her fury. Nation was heading to speak at a Chautauqua meeting in Redwood Falls, but decided to take advantage of a brief layover in New Ulm. She walked up Center Street from the depot and entered Andrew Amon's saloon on Minnesota Street. Seeing him behind the bar serving drinks to the patrons, she shouted at the top of her lungs, You are the devil! She then began to preach to the gathered crowd for five minutes, concluding with the sentiment that it isn't the man behind the bar that does the most mischief, but the miserable government that issues the license. Her famous hatchet remained in her satchel, though, much to the delight of the local sheriff, and with her audience unmoved, she turned and walked out the door and returned to the departing train. Carrie Nation did not live to see Prohibition become the law of the land. But eight years later, on the night before it went into effect, crowds gathered outside the taverns on Minnesota Street. The local newspaper reported, When the moment of the departure drew near, the Hofmeister band began playing a funeral march, and the crowds on the street seemed to move slower and hang their faces, apparently being impressed by the sadness of the occasion. Over the next 14 years, the Shell and Howenstein breweries, two of the city's major industries, struggled to keep afloat selling pop and medicinals while the town's many taverns became refreshment parlors. However, violations were widespread. One older resident, when asked about the effect of prohibition on New Ulm, Crowley replied, Prohibition? We didn't have that here, did we? Mm -hmm.